What's up, everybody? It's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite chart analyst, back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the charts. And today, we will be taking a closer look at gold, all right? Um, guys, if you are new to this channel and you like what you see, you hear, and what you are, are learning on this channel, hit that thumbs up and hit the bell for notifications for free content. I would appreciate that because it helps this channel grow and it helps this channel get more attention. So definitely hit those like buttons, you guys. Um, and subscribe. <laughs> but uh, if you are new to this channel, you see that I use Ichimoku. If you're not familiar with it, I break it down so we can understand it. But you would have to, you know, watch my videos, you know, to you know grab and you know, retain the information about Ichimoku. Cause I use advanced Ichimoku, basically, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I do quite a bit of stuff. But um, before we get into any type of video uh, or any type of analysis, I always want to acknowledge God first. Always want to say thanks and give glory to God before I start. Because without Him, I would not even have this channel. Without Him, I wouldn't be where I'm at in my life. Without Him, I would not even know no, you know, I would even, I would honestly, I wouldn't even have done this YouTube business because uh, he actually told me to make a YouTube channel glorify him. So it's going to down the line in the future, it's getting to that point where I'm going to start releasing some poor content, not just trading stuff, but real life stuff as well. So, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, I do want to make it make let this channel be impactful for the future the content because I do want to use it as a platform to glorify God and to also bless people not with just knowledge but also you know probably even if you can do funny giveaways and you know help people out but if you like that you know definitely subscribe and if you like that you know definitely you know uh you know stay tuned for more because this channel is about to get big and I'm going to do some great things in the future so that being said, let's jump into this technical analysis on gold. I just wanted to uh, shout out God because I love him and he's amazing. You guys just don't know I mean. uh, So definitely seek God and, you know, seek Christ for yourselves, all right? So let's go ahead and get into this analysis. Uh, you see the, the this cloud here is showing us that the trend has been going up. Right here, this is a trend system so it helps you find a trend and stay in the trend for a long time as you can see here been in this for quite a while but anyway uh looking at it but a is angled up and b is angled up so this trend has been moving strong for quite a while i'm expecting prices to move higher but we may have sort of a pullback or some sort of a, a move lower because Sin is flat right here. As uh, when this goes flat, that lets you know that the market is, you know, out of, you know, it's in a range or trying to get back into living because you see far away right here. Um, when I throw this back on, if I zoom out, see that the market is well in a cup formation. Let me throw this off real quick. You can tell that the market has been moving in a cup formation. So I'm expecting the market to move probably, you know, higher, probably up to the 9,000, uh, I said 9,000, 1,800, 900, 990 level, possibly even higher. But we will have to make a cup eventually, so I will be watching that as well. Uh, you know, looking at it on the daily time frame, you know, that cloud thick, you see how thick she is? You know, that's letting us know that the market movement is the movement to the upside is getting stronger. This has been going up. You know, right now we're flat at both A and B level, but that's because we are stuck in this this what this wave here. This is called a Y wave in the Ichimoku wave system. A Y wave is where uh, it's like a, in the American version they call this a expanding triangle but in the japanese traditional way to trade uh advanced ichimoku this is high wave formation here and i'm using the time theory which is more advanced but i will not go over that in today's video that's something for more advanced uh trading anyway you have to have the basic understanding of 
and I do. But tomorrow will be the day of change, which is called Hinka B. So I will be looking for a move upside or downside, depending on what happens in all time frames today. Uh, let's go down to the four hour. Four hour chart is showing us that we are moving lower, but we are being held right here. If I take out off, they're holding this area as a support. So we could definitely make a move upside if we get price action candle, maybe even a hammer to upside trades up to the upside, but we have to have that confidence. So I won't be touching this just yet. But looking at the chart, it looks like it's getting ready to make that move try to break this panel. So I will be watching this level. Uh, this is flat, so this is saying that the market is having a little trend, even though this is thick, this is you know, slightly weaker. But we will see how this price holds here. It looks like it's trying to break through. Like, uh, and last but not least, to uh, find this move, looking at it on the one hour time frame, what I like here, I like that it is holding this. We are forming a bullish cloud. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing that Chiki Span is trying to break, you know, get above the price here, which is this is a good sign because once it gets above this cloud, you know, uh, we're going to higher. But we could definitely start moving higher now because we could in wave formation and take it to that view for my target yet. For about if we get a if we close like this as it is which is next six minutes I might take the trade but overall target will be three hundred and twenty one so we'll be looking at that we will see you know another time how this closes if we don't get what I like here we break to the downside I expect this channel to start moving lower but it looks like we're holding here pretty strong so this is my goal. My overall goal to get back in this here. We'll see how we do. Uh, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy. If we look at it on a four hour, let's make sure we make four hour. So if we take a look at this on the four hour chart, it'll take us back up. And that's, that's, That's where we'll be heading We'll find our next level of resistance. But yeah, this is where my target will be at in this year. Um, it's all it's all a waiting game at this point, but I will be looking for my trade off the one hour time frame and possibly even four hours well so it could be a bullish engulfing or depending it close as this got three hours left for this candle not gonna rush it not trying to you know jump into trades blindly i'm going to be patient and wait. so guys i hope you guys enjoyed this technical analysis i hope you enjoyed uh, you know what i have to offer as far as the each poker system. Definitely subscribe if you want to learn more about the each poker system or get analysis of poker. But I think this will be moving higher up. We'll see. I'll keep you guys posted and stay tuned for the next. All right. God bless and peace. Mm -hmm.